Hey everyone, I'm doing a quick little video here on how to forward your ports. Um, this is uh, pictures of my wireless router. I'm censoring some of the information on here, you know, personal information or whatever. But um, what you need to know is first how to log into your router and then how to get to your advanced settings. So this is something that you should do in private. It's not something that you should, you know, broadcast this information to everybody. That's why I'm kind of censoring out some of this information. But anyways, once you go to the advanced, uh, click on status. Find out what computer you want to have set up as your server and find out the internal IP address. So in this case, um, the top left arrow, click on status, middle arrow. This is the internal IP address. It would be a good idea to write this down or to remember what this is. Okay, next slide. You then go down to net forwarding and then under virtual servers. I, I have virtual servers set up. You can do port triggering, whatever's easiest for you. It's basically the same idea. So uh, from here, you would click add and then fill in all the information, service type. Um, for the service type, you can have anything in there. It doesn't matter what the name is. But what is important is the external port and the internal port. For TF2, you have to have 27015. The, and between those is the internal IP. That is the information that you got from the status. That's where you have to type it in here. So what this does is whenever the router gets a signal from this IP address, internal IP address, and from this port, it will allow this information to go through. Uh, protocols, it's um, underneath internal port. There's a protocol set to all. Leave that to all. Under that, you save the entry or enable the entry, sorry, then click save, and then that's all there is to it. So as easy as this sounds, your router is going to be different. I mean, there's you can have two routers that are the same. If there's a difference in firmware, this setup might be a little bit different. But this is a quick little basic idea on how to do this. Now for Minecraft, the port number is different, but the internal IP is going to, be, again, be whatever computer you want to have set up um, the server on. So in this case, I have both a TF2 and Minecraft set up for my computer to be a server. So um, that's all the information I got. Hope it helped. Bye.